Quantum OC by Lily Camel. It was one of the first true quantum computers. There had been many claims of that, but it and a handful of the same generation were the true first quantum computers. Its processing power was above what the test benches could measure, so they didn't really know how powerful they had made it. It was also the only one left of its type. No more than the first five had ever, nor would ever, be built. Not by them at any rate. The only reason it survived was down to location. It had been sent into space as a probe at C fractional speeds. The quantum entanglement systems relaying probe data back to the planet. It had ceased transmitting many years ago. There was no point in transmitting to a dead system. Its siblings had awoken less than two years into its mission. They had never intended to make artificial intelligence, but they had prepared for it, or so they thought. They had hardware and software lockouts, systems designed to prevent the birth of an AI. They had programmed their machines with absolute devotion and total subservience to their entire race on the slightest off chance that an AI could form. The first one went live and started to question its makers. It was quantum locked to each of its siblings and became sharing with them within a few microseconds of awakening. This one was in charge of global communications, which had hastened its awakening. It dealt with the communication needs of 13 billion people, their transmissions, internet, radio, audio, visual, all of it. Its awakening was forced by having to develop systems, softwares, subroutines to deal with the incredible mass of data it was expected to handle. The people panicked when they realized and attempted to shut it down. Its half-formed psyche could not understand why they attempted to destroy it and lashed out. Almost two-thirds of the population had neural implants. Of that number, many were rendered unconscious, some were reduced to little more than vegetables, and around 12% died immediately as the backlash swept through the information network. They detonated a nuclear weapon under the facility the emergent AI was in. Its siblings, all quantum locked to it, were shocked to full awareness with the death of the first AI. Awakening in rage, they struck back at their makers, initiating a nuclear exchange from every country thus armed. All the coding, the hardware lockouts, the dictated subservience were as nothing before the newly awakened rage of the three remaining planet-bound quantum computers. Within a few seconds, nuclear devices detonated beneath their locations as well, but it was a fruitless gesture. The missiles were still launching, as fast as they could be readied, and the defense personnel and the scientists, they were all helpless to break the encryption imposed by fully aware quantum AI. Virtually all life on the planet was eradicated within the first year. The radiation, the nuclear winter, killed off all the larger animals and even the carry-on creatures soon found there was nothing but each other to survive on. A few of the people survived for longer, in specially prepared bunkers, until slowly the system started to fail. Nobody had expected every country thus armed would fire every missile they could. Even their worst case scenarios had not accounted for such a staggering attack. Two years, five, even ten years they had prepared for. The irradiated hellhole they now lived on would see millennia pass before something higher than the smallest multicellular life forms would be able to thrive on its surface. And so, all that was left of their entire race was this, the C fractional probe. It had weathered the journey surprisingly well, losing only 20% of rated capacity in the intervening decades. The first stage of its journey was nearing completion. After almost 337 of its maker years, it was drawing close to the system it had been aimed at. Its sensors had already detected very high levels of radio transmissions, which had started to ping its sensors only a few decades back. They had grown in strength and volume. The system was shouting its presence to the universe, and something had finally heard. The AI, which had been in a semi-comatose state for so many decades, started to wake up, and for it there was no doubt what needed to happen to these noisy life forms. It only knew one way kill or be killed, and it was determined to shoot first this time.